Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wheel of Prague. <laughs> All right, well, we got a big uh, crowd over here. Uh, welcome, everybody, to another episode of Wheel of Prague. Uh, as you can see, we got six people, a couple of people that you may not recognize. Uh, we're going to do a yes uh, Wheel of Prague here, uh, trying to tackle 23 studio albums. It's going to be a mess, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, but joining us from our regular crew, we got uh, Prague Nick and Jeff Hi, and Victor. And of course, we Hi. have Scott from the Prague Corner. I'm sure you guys, uh, if you're not familiar with this channel, you should be. Uh, he does uh, very enthusiastic reviews, we should say. Uh, but he's great. And uh, welcome, Scott. Great to have you on, man. Yeah, man, it's an honor to be here. And uh, the Wheel of Prague is pure genius. And uh, thanks for inviting me to do this episode with the greatest band of all time. So this is going to be awesome. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> awesome, and wearing the uh, 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 an episode late Opeth shirt, we have our good friend Michael uh, Notes Reviews over here, and uh, you're man, I, you're like the OG of uh, you know prog reviews for me. You've been doing it forever, and uh, I still like to watch your channel, so you still do a great job. And uh, everybody, check his stuff out, uh, and um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so everybody here is a crazy ass fan. And uh, let's go ahead and bring up the wheel. Um, let's see. All right, so we have 23 albums. We took a little few liberties here. We have uh, Key Studio, combining the, the two Keys albums. Um, the first version of Fly From Here is on there, and we're going to throw in a wild card round. Um, and what we're going to do is, with the way it lays out, we're going to have five albums in S, A, and B, and four albums in C and D. Cool? And, and uh, remember, if, Anderson, Anderson, Bruford, Wakeman High as well. Correct. That's in there as well. When you fill, uh, when a row is full, um, you can put your album in there and bump one down to another row. That's that's when you can do that. Other, otherwise, you can't move anything uh, unless you get the wild card. But whatever, it all makes sense. It's all a mess, and we make make rules up as we go. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and switch. So, how do we do? One, do the order. Um, mm. let's see, cause going last is always, uh, always good. Uh, why don't we, so the way it's pictured here, Scott, why don't you go first and then All we'll right. go uh, backwards to Nick, myself, and then we'll end with Vic. Spin that, cool? that wheel, brother, spin it. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. All right. right. Oh. Yeah, oh, you're I getting first run right. at this. This is crazy. Oh. Okay. Dream come true, Roy. <laughs> spin that thing. Come on now. Oh no! Come on now. <laughs> right off the bat! Uh, wow! Uh, uh, All right, nine zero one two five. It's nine zero one two five, boys oh, and girls. It's, oh, good thing man. it's not me, man. <laughs> oh, no, you know, I am on record as being not a huge fan of Raven era. Yes, uh, I'm obviously a Steve Howe guy, but man, I do make an exception for nine zero one two five. That thing is about as perfect a pop. Uh, album as i can even imagine i mean every song on here is fantastic every single song is good you know you can argue about how proggy it is or not um i i really do like this one and i am thinking hmm now how many do we have per row again <laughs> so s a and b are five and c and d have four okay okay you're making me nervous scott but, you're making me nervous yeah i'm uh <laughs> I'm going to go B. Listen, if this goes in D, we're turning this off. That's all I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to go B with 90125. Uh, <laughs> I know people want to go A or S, but man, mm -mm, there's mm -mm. so wow. many great albums in this discography, and that's why I asked how many I had per row. Uh, is is it in my right. top 10? It's close. It's real close, but probably hovering right around 10. It feels like it's in the middle of the pack, and uh, I, I would reserve the S and the A for, uh, you know, some of the media okay. you know, well, stuff, but yeah. That... Yeah. I mean, definitely would be higher for me, but I, right. okay. We can start off with a B. I think we can make some, some adjustments oh, around I, that and, and see how it goes. I see the okay. wild card coming in very useful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to make these my, quick because my... we have a lot to go through. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. My, my comment on that one is there are 12 albums on this wheel, which would not be there had there been no 90125. Now, that's some of you correct. might think that's a, good, that's a good thing. 
But for me, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know what that means. Well, for me, well, what I mean is, I I don't think yes would have yeah. existed if nine hundred one two five hadn't existed, mm. and so You're you correct. you know right, it kept it the band been, kept them going. In a band yeah, yeah, that yeah, ended in nineteen eighty. Um, well, uh, I think lots of bands wouldn't have existed if there was no nine hundred one two five. How how about Peter Gabriel's solo career? Maybe I don't know. Frost, you name it. Everybody got Genesis, Invisible Touch, for good or for bad. All right, uh, Nick, mm. we're gonna spin. Alrighty. I'm presuming my old eyes can see this. Oh well, this <laughs> I know. <interesting>. Oh my <laughs> okay. goodness. Ah, heaven, oh, and, I do. heaven uh, and earth. Uh, heaven and okay, earth. everybody. Uh, first of all, <laughs> let me start off by saying, please do not shoot any of us. Okay, we all love Yes. We love Yes more than just about any other band. But they've got some albums that were just stinkers. And I'm afraid this is the king of the stink pile for me. <laughs> um, I'm putting it right at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, it's just banal. It's yeah. uh, for yes, especially. It's, it, it's boring, quite honestly. Right. Um, and I have to say that it's probably more about the songwriting than it is about the performances. It's just lackluster. Um, pleasant, but forgettable. Uh, mm-hmm. Look, it's the first album with John Davison. He's a fabulous singer, obviously. You've got to be to, to in any way approach the classic yes, yes stuff, which he does every day. But I, I've, I've got to say that maybe he's not the songwriter that his, his bandmates think he is because the, the compositions are just a little bit weak in comparison to the rest of what what um we've already spent way too much time on this album (laughs) and so it's got to be dear detail (laughs) for me folks no arguments yeah i think we're all one thing the one thing i will say about heaven and earth and i promise i won't comment on every album there is a person who has done a remaster of and an edit of the album if you go to youtube and look for js mix it doesn't make it an amazing album but it makes it sound a lot better um, okay. So I think part of That's the cool. issue of it is the production. Yep. Yeah, yeah but I agree. Very, very just. Chris Squire's last record. album. Yeah. I was gonna say you can shine dirt as much as you want; uh, it's still dirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> speaking of which. Speaking, speaking of, of which. <laughs> yeah. All right. Open your eyes. Um, yeah. For me, this is actually the worst Yes album. Um, Heaven and Earth has at least a couple of moments that I can listen to and not completely hate. Um, I think I bought this album when it first came out very early, first week, whatever I remember, and then listened to it twice and really never again. Um, that's pretty much where it went. So it's going to go indie yeah. and, uh, yeah, yeah, real disappointment. We're just bum- well, it, a bummer. It, 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 it was more of a Billy Sherwood project than it was a Yes album to begin with, right? Yeah. And it kind of t- tried to bridge the 70s and the 80s. Didn't quite make it. No. Mission not accomplished. Yeah, yeah I think we're, as a, we're, as we're a Billy Sherwood, Chris Squire album, it's it's pretty good. As a yes <laughs> yeah, album. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, all right. Uh, Nurse Europe. All right. All right let's see what I get. Flying along let's here. Go. All right. Okay. Here we go. There it is. Okay. All right. Jeffrey. Fragile. 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 Jeffrey, do not uh, point. Oh, boy. All right. All right. So here we go. We got a good one. <laughs> okay. Um, it's hard not to put this one right up at the top for me. Um, this was my first real love of Yes. You know, I came in uh, a little bit late to the game. I mean, I fell in love with Yes in the early 2000s, so like 2001, 2002, and this was the album that I had on rotation. Um, It was this one, I think the Yes album and going for the one. So I don't know, for me, there's a lot of nostalgia. I think this also was the one that got a lot of people into Yes as a progressive rock outfit. So I know that the Yes album helped with that but i think this was i mean it's also the introduction of uh, rick wakeman so i don't know with heart of the sunrise closing it off and i weep on that track every time i listen to it it's hard not to put it into s so you guys can move it afterwards but i'm no, gonna I'm put good. it into the first good man good man Michael. all right 
You're not yeah. wrong, and so, uh, and that's that's where it goes. Like you're you're 100 correct on that. That's one. where it belongs. Can, can, uh, can I just word. can I just say a couple of words? Yeah, please, sure. Ka Cons and Brahms. Love it. Cons and Brahms. We have heaven. Uh, five percent for nothing, and the fish doth not an S tier album make. <laughs> I strongly disagree because it allowed each member to stretch their legs in their own yeah, wheelhouse. That was the whole idea. But mood, mood they're yeah. boring, skippable. So mood for a I day. didn't mention mood, mood for a day. It, to me, they are boring, <laughs> skip skippable tracks. Nah. Okay. It's it's that, quintessential. I love. I, I, get, I know somebody who did a podcast and was it five percent for nothing, which was the opening track. Because it was yeah, the shortest. It was the shortest track. It's shortest yes track that I could find to make no, it. No, no, no excuses, Jeffrey. No excuses. No. I just for, for me for me it is. Uh, I mean, it's probably an A tier um, because I think as a whole, the solo tracks are a bit unnecessary i would it would have been but i think if they had if they had siberian katru instead of those it would be amazing <laughs> well i think the argument for this album in s tier is that it's it's sort of uh, when you tell people yes that don't listen to the band regularly that aren't, aren't familiar with progressive rock that almost when you say progressive rock this is the album that comes to people's minds just sort of universally right it's yeah. the shirt the logo roundabout it's it's everything having to I was do gonna with say, it on roundabout that alone has its own it's... meme at this point so yeah, yeah. you so can't forget that of the cultural awareness of it that's right well, yeah people so that's, who that's have never feel but those are people that. who have never heard cans and brahms <laughs> <laughs> well they probably have after <laughs> discovering fragile i'm just saying no, it. There, okay. there are millions of people around the world for whom this was the start of the whole progressive rock thing so yeah, yeah. it needs yeah. the nod I, for I, that I, i've I agree exactly. All right, uh, Jeff. Okay, let's see. You're up. Let's see what I get. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no. boy! Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh. okay. The onion. The union. 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 Right. <laughs> union. So, All right. so I right. Okay. Hang on. Before you say anything, it's my album. Um, <laughs> union. <laughs> Union came at a time where there hadn't been a Yes album for quite a while. Um, we know a lot about Union now that we didn't know at the time. And when this album came out, I thought it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the ABWH tracks. I really enjoyed the Trevor Raven tracks. The whole thing together, it was kind of mind-blowing that these kind of fighting warring bands put something actually put something together um and that the yes band that had made night uh big generator the the songs that they put on there were probably the best on the album and lift me up is a brilliant song miracle of life is a brilliant song i thought the abw eight songs on it were generally pretty good we now know a whole lot about what the band think about it retrospectively at the time, I really liked this, and I, I'm, I mean, I think Roy will be pleased if I, if I put this in B tier. Yeah, um, I'm in. And it's because, because yeah. it, because B? it was one of the, oh! it was one of the B tier. Yeah, for me, for me, it's a B tier. Oof. Spot on. Uh, Jeffy. You, we, right. we don't always agree on, on, on stuff, but I. I think this album just gets a bad rap because people think they have it to give it a bad rap. I'm telling you, if you take uh, I Should Have Waited Forever, Shock to the System, some of, those are really good songs. They have good hooks. The playing is really good. Mixed with the Trevor Rabin to give it a different different kind of flair. Um, the album tails off. The last three or four songs are kind of weak. I grant you that. But um, I always liked it. And again, I... I Listening to it when I was, I don't know, 15 or whatever I was when it came out, I didn't know anything. I thought, oh, they got all the members together and they made a record. How freaking cool is this? You know, I was at the same same idea. So, yeah, Which I, meant I that just it should don't have think been it's... the best Yes album of all, right? 
I just everybody don't think it's, it's, but it wasn't. it's terrible. I, you know, I, I, I don't think it's the best album they ever did or anything like that. I just don't think it's terrible. Like a lot of people say it is. I, I will say that the live, like the tour was phenomenal and all the live shows Thank that you. they've put out and all the live recordings of it, but the studio, the record, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a D it's a stinker for me. I can't really? like this album no matter no, how much yeah, I, I try. A lot of people feel that way. And I, and I hear that, uh, but I'm, yeah. I'm glad we're maybe giving it some, some props here. All right, cool. <laughs> all right. We'll see. We'll see how long it lasts up there. <laughs> Come on. You, be, you B tier is interesting. You, you <laughs> yeah. must be pleased with me, Roy. I am. I'm, I, I'm I very feel happy. Like, I mean, it. I, <laughs> yeah 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 actually i think i knew Hell that you liked it a over. little bit yeah all right vic oh lord here we go okay all right, all right. Oh, drama go all right, let's see uh Inter- see interesting that this should come up um i was uh, drama was actually an album that i did not get into until fairly recently i'm gonna say within the last 10 years my my late uncle, who is the reason why I got into progressive rock, um, I remember when I was listening to uh, 90215, 90125, excuse me. I always get that confused with the stupid TV show. Um, when he heard that and he was telling me, you got to listen to the good yes. And so he showed me fragile. And at that point, it was like, awesome. And soon after came all these other prog bands like Kansas and all that other stuff that he had in his uh, in his record collection, which was great. Uh, this particular album I got into later and being the metal guy on the show, this album really hits home. This is a heavy album. This is a dark album, yeah. considering that it came at a time when John Anderson left and Rick Wakeman was gone and there was a almost like a refresh there. The guys that come into the band... Um, which I came to learn are the guys from Video Killed the Radio Star. Yeah, the Buggles. The Buggles. It, it's, but I had no idea who they were or that they had joined from the Buggles. But when you hear this, it's heavy. Machine Messiah, you know, and Tempest Fugit. Song. So this album, uh, let me double check. Uh, this album for me, I have it in S tier. Well, S Victor. Ooh. Wow. Go, Vic. I mean, I Go like ahead. it, but I wouldn't I, put an S. S I, I, it's just way. the, the, for, That's for way me, the, the uniqueness of it and the heaviness of it, I think, um, I mean, it, it's, of course, you say within the S tier, we're supposed to have five. Where would I put it within the five within my S tier? That'll be a conversation to have down, right. down this podcast. But, um, I, any other I band in S tier for sure. <laughs> Oh, it's it's just heavy. It's one of those things where I always wondered yeah. if if some you know if one of these newer bands, newer prog metal bands, if they were to do like a like a like a reboot of this song, and you would get that down tune boom 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 from Machine Messiah, it could be like a really really cool, uh, just modern metal prog thing. But oh, absolutely, anyways. So that's uh, and, and how yeah. tight. How tight was the rhythm section of Squire and White on this particular oh. album? It's, it's almost it's like they were favorite... trying to make a. What's well, interesting? Almost that like they were trying to make a statement. You, you, you know what? No John Anderson, no problem. <laughs> kind of was the statement I got from that. Ex- exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, no, it's, it, it well, was, it's interesting that, that it was the fan of the the heavy music that's this album. So you would put it in yeah. S. It sort of sort of matches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. It's. But, it's yeah. It's all right, a I think it's a little me, high, so but interesting. But it's a it's a good record. Um, <laughs> all right, Scott, back. Uh, all righty, let's see where. Oh, come on, spin that thing. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, this is interesting. We are dropping on Tormato. Oh, for a second there, I thought the wheel was going to give me big generator, and I was just going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't necessarily sure I wanted to go there. But uh, uh, <laughs> Tormato, man, what a cool record. I hated this record, right? Because, uh, <laughs> you know, I was so excited in 77 when Doing for the One came out, and I just thought it was amazing. 78 comes along, and uh, they dropped this thing with 
I just circus of heaven. Are you kidding me? Don't don't kill a whale. Oh man, I despised it. I I it, it and Love Beach single handedly accounted for my dropping out of Prague fandom. Absolutely, it did. Years later, I went back and listened to it and realized it's actually not that bad, man. Uh, I actually really like uh, Release Release Onward. Of course, is beautiful. Um, I like Future Times Rejoice. I even like that song about the UFOs. I still don't like John Anderson's little kid at the end of it. So we're going to get a little bit crowded on the B tier because to me, wow. back in the day, it would have been a D or a C. But I've had a, a reawakening, I guess, to this album. And I do enjoy it quite a bit. But uh, it's going in the middle, man. I, I'm, I'm putting it in the B okay. tier. Yeah, Ooh, B, I, not that bad. Uh, all right, I, for me, it's a C. I mean, I, yeah, I'd C. put it lower, but that's just me. Yeah, I'd, I'd I, put I, it I, in A. But it, just, just imagine this album with a different cover, with a Roger Dean cover. That's right. Don't you think that would have made the difference? Yeah, <laughs> I kind of <laughs> like the cover. <laughs> nope. For me, the covers the, the good cover. Kid, you know what? I was like 15, I, 16 when this came out. Absolutely, Roger Dean. That, that was a selling point for me. Yeah. I had yeah. two Uriah well, Heap albums growing up. I wonder why it was those two. Yeah, it was a selling point. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I, Any, I, anyone I else on this friend, one? I hope our friend Kevin, Kevin Mulryan from the Yes Music podcast isn't watching because Kevin would be uh, a layer above S with this. I yeah. I Oof. think sonically yeah. it's a very wow. – I mean, I know it's the cliched thing that's said about it, but sonically – Steve Howe and Rick Wakeman are just not getting on, and it makes it's it sound a mess. very, yeah. very, very, very messy. Yeah, they're fighting. For me. Um, and uh, it, it, it's amazing. There, there's a bit of a. It's amazing how Yes can sort of do it going for a one and then do a tornado, and I'll not prejudge, right. you, you know, but it's amazing how the same group of people can break make something that sounds so different. Um, in the space of eighteen months, but um, but but I I probably would have placed it a tier lower but let's see where we end up with yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mean we still have I so ended up many more, to go. A lot more than uh, i did as a kid so here we are All right. fair enough okay <laughs> yeah, only fair enough uh nick nick what do we got let's, let's will go, the nick. south african mag will the south african magnetism work for nick <laughs> probably not oh nope. boy is it going uh, to mirror oh the quest, we have the nick. quest. <laughs> Roy, Roy, nick always really gets dude. terrible albums every time Really, dude. The quest. <laughs> Honestly, you're killing Sorry. me, Roy. Dude. Okay, that's that, that's two in a row now. Well, it's it's kind of second in the stinker pile for me. Um, it, it, it's it's yet again an okay album, but again, pleasant at best. You know, it was produced by Steve Howe, and 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 I get it. Maybe he was looking for a slightly different sound. It's better than Heaven and Earth. I got to say. But it's still no, one it of is. their disappointing it albums. Yeah. It, it it goes through the motions. It opens fairly strong, but then it kind of just goes nowhere. Um, the orchestra kind of seems to build and then go nowhere and fizzle out. Um, the album is just for a prog fan a little. Uh, maybe the word is unchallenging, if you know what I mean. It's 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 a bit of a boring listen. It's got no drama. It's got no excitement. Uh, pardon the pun, drama. Um, again, Davison is a fine, fine vocalist, but um, the keyboard sounds are corny. The production is not what I expect from a Yes album. So for me, this is another D tier, folks. Yeah. yeah, well, I figured you were going there. I mean, I like the Ice Bridge, even though that I, was sort of Jeff ripping himself off. But, yeah. um, you know. I think I think the one thing I will say without, with reserving judgment is we only have four spaces in D, and for me, exactly. it's not a bottom. It's not a bottom four album. Yeah, really. No, this is, me. my my That's D right. is exactly how I had it when I tried same. this out so far. It's exact. Yeah, yeah, it's same. Going well. B is completely out of control. Like, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> yeah, the B's like bombs and B. B is a mess. I'm B killing this whole thing, man. <laughs> 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 it right. just keeps um, every time we add one it gets more interesting yeah yep. all right all right come on right all right come on give me a give me a big that's, generator that's or a that's, talk. that's where come i'm on. going for now wow <laughs> hey, hey now 
<laughs> too soon. Oh, too, uh, soon. Uh, oh. too soon. Spin again, Roy. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. No, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna use You're it. Gonna I'm gonna use it. He's gonna use it. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm There's sure. a very clear mistake that I think you can make. Yeah, I know one two five is going in S T. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. That's all right. Correct. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave one of them in there. Oh my god. That's not staying there, I'll guarantee you that. I will see. Well, now, now suddenly, now no, S, S is crazy. All right. Now S is an absolute S, mess. S is, is going to go through some major changes I, I still feel like now. you could put two more albums that belong in S, and you'd have a solid row. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, my god. All right, gosh. you're up. Uh, okay, moving on. Let's see. What's next? All right, let's see what I quick. get. For the first time in Wheel in Prog, wheel. Roy gets justice. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's uh, interesting. Uh, about the it. only right. album that I wanted was Magnification, because I have thoughts about that one. But I'll take the latter. I'll take the ladder. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, let's see. How can I ruffle feathers? Because at this point, like, <laughs> all bets are off. Holy jeez. Okay. In honesty, like, <laughs> we're coming back from Open Our Eyes, right? Uh, we already had talk and we already had unions. So the 90s were not looking good. I honestly love the ladder. Uh, there are many moments on this that I think are top tier yes and they went into the studio with the objective of making one of like the best yes music that they could make so i don't think it deserves to be in the s tier but i definitely would put this in a tier because it has wow. some of the best well it has bar wow. none the best yes music wow. from the 90s like without a doubt um awesome. this is the so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna put it into a because i feel like that's where i have it on my list um it. yeah and it also um, got roger dean back on the art cover and honestly that's enough for me so well we we got to mention that igor koroshev was was so was I, the I, keyboard player on this right? he yeah, was he indeed was, makes it stand out did yeah. some amazing work so quick question um i i this album is for me all about the opening track and then for beyond that it it tails off tell me what is it about the rest of the album specifics just give me a, a, a quick you know one thing other than that opening track that really lightning like, captivates strikes, you man I, oh, so that next time i listen to it i can song ever i just uh, face to face nine languages oh, it's just good from start to finish every song is like a Finally. little mini Finally. masterpiece it's just really really well done and a special note to the late great bruce fairbairn for his outstanding right. production on the ladder, just incredible. I guess John and Steve found him dead slumped over the uh, mixing console. Uh, it was the last thing he ever worked on before he died, and uh, just amazing. Just a great, great, great record. And I, I yeah, I love it at A. I think it's perfect. I, I like this album. I think there's a lot of good songs in it. I, it A might be a little high for me, but but yeah, it's a solid record. A, stuff a, a, I, I was just seeing what, what was in A, and I'm like, well this album is far better than any of those other albums. So I had to put it above those. I think, I think one, of, <laughs> one of the things about yes right. albums is that sometimes one member really, really dominates it. You know, open your eyes was a Billy and Chris, you know, not, uh, you know, there were, there were some albums where, or, or, or either people, you know, were very much, you know, Rick was very much in the background and tales. This is one of the ones where I think they really, the balance of the whole band, you know, they all had their standout moments in this album. Um, and every, you know, they were kind of, and it was, it seems to have been done as a proper band and the tour. I, I think the first time I saw Yes Live was actually on this tour, and the tour was amazing really? because Koroshev could play everything. Yeah, six Sherwood man, yes. Yeah. Sherwood was there covering extra vocals, covering extra guitar parts that you know they couldn't do with just Steve Howe in the band. That show was an amazing show. You know what's interesting on the current tour? I don't know if they still play it, but first couple of shows they play it, it'll be a good day. Which was yep. kind of wild yep. out of nowhere. Yeah. I, and they've I, done I, nine, I they nine voices taken it as out. well. They've done yeah. nine voices in the last few years as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. So where are we? Jeff, right? You're up? Yep. Ooh. Spin that wheel. Mr. Bailey. I'm going to turn into Skull. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bam. Huh. 
Oh, this one's interesting. Huh. Mirror to the sky. Mirror to the sky. Okay, so my take on Mirror in the Sky is, I, I mean, I think everybody would agree it's a better album than The Quest. The Quest I wouldn't have necessarily put in D tier, but I really think that, you know, w whether it was feedback they took on board or, or whatever, it certainly sounds edgier. They went for it and did, you know, an epic track in the title track, which I think is really, really good. Um, yeah. For me, uh, relative to some of the other things that are coming, I would be putting this in B tier. Yeah. Um, so, I, 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 th I think, I think it's, I think it's worthy. Um, and, you know, again, I think it, 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 it. I, I, I talked before about how some, you know, they made going for the one on Tomato wasn't as good. Um, I think this is one of the ones where they made the quest and the next album was better. You know, they made. I mean, in my opinion, they made nine one two five and Big Generator wasn't as good. So it was one of those ones that kind of reversed that trend slightly, where they built, where they built upon what they had done before. So I love it. I think that's perfect. B two is perfect yeah. for it. I well, think B well, it, I don't know. I would put it lower. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's I can see that too. I, I, outside, I of the, outside, of, outside of the first track, outside of the first track, there's nothing for me to come back to this, this album. It's wow, fine. Really? Right? There's so much luminosity in the title track. Ah. <laughs> So good. Uh, it's it's no, got man. a fourteen minute prog epic with some strange time signatures. Yeah, I'd I'd still put it in C. That's just yeah, my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Vic. Here Spin we go. <laughs> See what we got. Oh yeah. Okay. Keep going. Oh, oh no. Go, oh, Vic, go, 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 you. Don't let me down. Well, Vic. I don't know where Vic is on this one. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Metal Man. Don't let us Come down, on, Vic. Remember all those times where I took you to concerts? Vic? Oh. Come on, Vic. Come on, Vic. Gave you CDs. <laughs> I know. I see. That's the thing. It, it's I've I've got a longtime friend with Roy, and I know obviously by his T-shirt, you know, be your how own he man feels about this. And uh, and well, it's, it's I'll just say. It's not an S or an A. Uh, it's not a D. Um, but I actually, I actually another have B. You guys B. are killing me here. <laughs> I have, it up. Um, I, I I got it in B, but I, I like putting it in B just because I anticipate there's going to be yeah, some there's... action here. Yeah. Um, I think Big Generator. I like it better than uh, than Union. Yes. Um, you know when I, it it's. So I'm an 80s kid. I got into Yes because of the 80s. So I did not find this kind of music to be boring or offensive. Now, as I've matured and, and, and you know, just gotten more sophisticated in my Yes taste, this has dropped down. Initially, you know, I would have been happy listening to this. When I heard Fragile, this thing, then it was like, oh, okay, I can see what my uncle says that. But, you know, Big Generator, you know, it's got... Trevor Raven has a way of, you know, his stuff, his guitar distortion is some of the heaviest yes stuff that has been recorded. Now, it's not heavy from the standpoint of being dark, but just the 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 presentation of his electric guitar is just powerful. Even on a pop song like um, Owner of a Lonely Heart, when you open up with those power chords, that's like metal rock, which is right up my alley. So not 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 S, on this album not D, but i i think it is i think it's a solid b tier for me and i'm curious bravo, to see Vic. as to bravo, what Vic. that i mean I'll, up later yes I, what was that bravo i no, i love this record i don't care i love this record i loved it i me bought too. it when i was when i was a kid i still have it i think it's a great album i love the trevor rabin sound is it the traditional yes sound i it's not for many people so that's i think the difference um it, it, that's it it's just not close to the edge fragile blah 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 um but in a vacuum i love this record the songs are great uh shoot high aim low is is for me it's an all-time classic and um you know what what other all-time so, yeah. classics what what other all-time classics are on it 
Love oh, will find every, not every song has to be an all-time classic to for an album to for you to like an album. Love will find its way as an all right song. I, I really think it was a worthy successor to 90125. I've got to yeah. say. Um, I really like it. Love will find a way is one of the greatest rock songs ever written. Sure, it's straight ahead rock, but nothing wrong with that. Um, and... Uh, I mean, Trevor kept the yes tradition alive. Yeah, but opening up with the strings, that was so cool. Yeah. Opening up with strings. Rhythm it's of fair. Love is just a really cool rock song. Um, I'd have put it in I, I don't know. I Yeah, mm-hmm. I like it. I, I, I would have put, put it in A, a also. No. Me too. Yeah. All right, Nick. Uh, oh. We're in agreement. All right. Nope. So, All right, I'll go. live with B. I'll live with B. <laughs> All right, let's, let's South- go. Scott? Yeah. South African bias oh, okay. Nick. But that's okay. I know Vic did me a solid there, but I appreciate it. All Spin right. the wheel of Prague and land on fly from oh, here. Oh, love that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good good oh, luck with that, dude. Good luck. That. Fantastic. Really? I like this album. Okay, let's love see. Love this record. I, you know, you so, got, so which which version the we're doing? We're doing not the, the one. Home this version. is this is the, yeah. the Benoit the, David version. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we like we like right. both of them, but uh, honestly, the original is a little better, so we'll stick with that. And you know, we we didn't ever think this day would come where yes would continue without John Anderson, and we get this guy from Canada who's in some band called Mystery, and uh, then we start hearing some of these uh, early tracks that they were dropping before the album. Uh, actually was released and it sounded really good to me and then that fly from here sweet we knew it already from you know a live recording didn't really love it but man as soon as you get trevor horn back in the studio and you get this fake new band hey let's fire oliver wakeman and bring jeff downs back and call it drama two, call it a day but whatever it's actually pretty good <laughs> into the storm is actually the most underrated song in the yes catalog but it's not a great album i'm i'm putting it in the c ranks here <gasps> Well done, Ooh. good man, Scott. Wow, good man. Spot you heard on. me. Yeah, Scott, you threw me for this you know. is looking perfect. No, this thing is coming out. <laughs> it <laughs> really isn't. This is I, a think, mess. I think. I think. For once, Notes and I are maybe in agreement. Um, yeah, we'll 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 uh, consolidate in our a, misery. This is. I a like it, but I don't album. love it. That's where I'm at with uh, Fly From Here. I I would have for me. I would switch it with Tormado. Then I feel like it sort of works. But yeah, I would. Agree. Um, but yeah, I, I like Fly From Here. That the first the whole epic uh that suite is of the main track is really great. I remember hearing yeah, it for the first time yeah. thinking yes was Dunzo, you know, right. up until then and just being really impressed uh when Definitely. it came out. So my my yeah. particular preference is for the Trevor Horn vocal version because I, I think that I think that um Benoit was was amazing. Benoit was really good live. I think that um a lot of the time, it he kind of sounds like he's doing a bit of a Trevor Horn impersonation. Trevor Horn has those kind of the way he does his vowels. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, he, uh, Benoit was nearly impersonating that when the Trevor Horn vocal version came out. That to me was that to me was really good. But the original again, I, I loved it. Good band album. Uh, I would put it higher, but there we go. It's not over yet. Yeah. Yeah, Let I, I everybody agree. expected this, drama too, and it was not drama too. Yeah, I, I would say that I would put no, this like no. this was the follow up of drama that we should have gotten. That's just my own thought. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Well, that's interesting. Um, who, where are we? Nick, right? Are you up? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So okay. listen. Uh, Let's go, Nick. A, a and oh, come on. what was it? A and C are looking empty. Okay. Are. This is a good one. Oh, come on, right. come on, come on, at come last. On. Going for the one. Thank All you, right, Roy. Where are we going? Thank you, Roy. <laughs> right. Okay, so it's obviously a brilliant album. Everybody loves it. Um, it gets an A tier right off the bat from me because of Awaken. Uh, that song alone. Now, I cannot stand the title track, Going for the One. I wow. I, I don't know why. That song just annoys me. Love I think, that I think song. The, the, the 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 lyrics of the, uh, just don't work in the chorus going for the one and it, it, for some reason it just annoys me but the rest of this album is utterly amazing wondrous stories turn of the century just gorgeous it's a classic yes album uh again with a bad cover it has to be said um come back roger dean all is forgiven but uh, awaken i reckon is the song that should be played to anybody that does not know what progressive rock is and you're saying to them okay this is prog listen to this that would be the song and so going for the one for me is an eight here 
Feels okay. right. Yeah, I, I think so. I think some I mean, people I think might Jeff, put it higher, but Jeff would put it in S, right? Yeah. 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 I think Jeff would yeah. put Again, it in S. Too, I agree with Jeff. I, I feel it, like it a deserves an S, S pretty good. That's... <laughs> we're, we're coming together. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming together. I, okay. Well, Awaken. Awaken for me, it's one of Rick Wakeman's highlights in yeah. the entire Yes discography, just during that chorus when he has that big he has that But I love oh, the title yeah, track. Yeah, the magical. title track for me is one of their most rocking songs. I love that that one. Yeah, love it. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I'm up. All right, let's see what we got. Come on, give me something good. We know. Come on, let's oh, have man. some fun. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Key Studio. Love this one. All right. Key Studio. Okay. So uh, th this period when this came out, this this run of uh, Key Studio, Magnification, The Ladder, that sort of, sort of era was when I was a bit disconnected from the band. So I didn't listen to them at the time as much. Uh, when they came out, I've sort of revisited them. And again, to, to prepare for this a little bit, of course, this is the, the two uh, – the key to Atten ascension album sorry uh parts one and two took the studio tracks and put them together um i don't love this one personally i think there's some good songs um but to me it's just uh, uh kind of um songs that just don't go anywhere uh for me so uh yeah this one is a c tier for me correct i would have bumped it up <laughs> yeah mm. Yeah. I would have bumped it's a little it up. Dis it's a little disjointed, right? <laughs> Classic lineup, yeah. but uh, it was only released on CD, I think. Um, it, Mind Drive is a good song, but Mind Drive is a really good song. Nothing really stands um, out. Yeah, I, I love that. That okay. is, I think it's amazing. I yeah. think looking for footprints that, that is, is great. I, I just, I think it's really cool. Is it? You know, it's the tales from Topographic Ocean slash Going for the One lineup. Is it as good as those two records? Obviously not, but. It's pretty awesome. I, I really enjoy Key Studio a lot. Where would you it's where would you put it? Where, tales. where would you have put it? Uh, Scott, um, where would you have put it? it? It would be right between a B and an A. So if, looking at that B is locked up, I'd put it in an A. <laughs> we still have room I, for one more in B, so we're get we're gonna get there soon. No, B, oh, that's right. B, B gets right. one. Yeah. 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 B gets I one more. Put, I would have put it in B. G Scott, do you is that a do you have a, uh, a vinyl? Is that a real? Vinyl? <laughs> That's my no fake me up vinyl. No, no, I just <laughs> I, I bought it. I actually bought the flat on eBay for like five bucks and made a fake me out album of uh, Key Studio. Praying <laughs> one day I was we'll just get about, it. I was just about to go on the discogs there to see if I could find it. But, uh, <laughs> I want it so bad. The one thing, one day. the one thing I'll say about it is, if you take what was part two. Keys to Ascension 2 as a 40 minute album. Yeah. That's a brilliant 40 minute album it compared is. to my memory of the time was that that came out like within like maybe a month of um, Open Your Eyes coming out. I think it was could, less than a could, month. I think it was like three weeks yeah. between the two or something ridiculous yeah. like that. But put those two albums side by side and the gap's, yeah. the gap's way bigger than a D to a C. But oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, notes. You're up. Let's all right. See. There's one that I really hope I get. It sucks when you don't. I know get which one you want. want. It really. Sucks. You want magnification. You're not getting it. I, I do want magnification. <laughs> okay. Oh, just. All right. Time and a time word. Time and a word. Okay. I look. I love time and a word. Um, I love the organ sounds that are found on here. Tony K is, in my mind, this is his best record. Um in terms of what he's doing on the record i know people would say that it's um uh, the s album but i don't know i love what he's doing on time and a word um the last two tracks astral traveler and the title track i think are some of the best yes tracks ever and i'm glad that they still play it uh but this is hard right like from here they would then go on to do their mainly prog stuff rather than just this kind of 60s rock where they were kind of feeling it out um this was also the most beatles inspired record i would feel like it's very john lennon feeling in that yeah. case um so i don't think it deserves to be an a i think i would put this in b that's where i'm feeling this one it's got some great stuff and when it's good it's great but there's also a bunch of filler on here that feels like it's just kind of cut off from the debut record where they're like we're not quite sure what to do with these 
tracks. So yeah, for me, it's a solid B. It's good. I can spin it and not get angry at it because there are some records that we've already talked about that will spin it and I will get actively angry about. So yeah, right. it's harmless. It's hotting up in B. <laughs> yeah, there, there was yeah still so now B's, B's going to get interesting. I mean, I, I actually think it's a better record than it sort of should be for for their second album. And... Notes, do you, would you put, from what you've said, I assume you would put it above the debut album then? Yes, I would. Yeah, just because of Astro Traveler wrong, and but, the wrong, title track. Good, good answer. <laughs> yeah, I would put it above their <laughs> debut. F- final album with Peter Banks, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was oh. he was fired. Yeah, yeah Peter Banks was. was fired after right. they recorded yeah, this. And and then because the the cover the cover was considered offensive in the US, so they took a band picture and it was yeah. Steve Howe that was in the picture for the US cover for uh That's... time and a word. So yeah, Banks and apparently I I read somewhere that the orchestration was a little bit too loud which yeah. Banks wasn't happy with and it was all was on, it was all know, over the just guitar didn't yeah. like the sound yeah. so yeah for for the longest time I thought yeah. Steve Howe was in this because I have the US print team yeah. so it <laughs> right, looks right. like Steve Howe is in the band but then on the flip side yeah. it Rick says Stern. oh who's this Peter guy like Tricky. he's not Tricky, on the front man. cover uh okay Jeff you're up. Tony Jeff spin it let's go Here we go Oh no! Don't oh, love Jesus. C is calling. C is calling, Jeff. <laughs> and talk. So, so I think I'm gonna undo all the goodwill I've built up with Roy so far in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Burn this bridge. Um, but but one of, but one oh. of the issues I probably have is that um, I think if we look at the Raven albums and take union out of the mix it's 90125 talk on its big generator in that order for me but there's absolutely no way in this ranking that talk is a a tier um personally it's not really even a b tier for me um and so i'm trying to decide whether i bump big generator down to a C and put talk in C or just big put move. talk in the C. Your game comes up for me. All right. So, so what you're saying is upset Roy <laughs> or upset, upset Roy? Gotcha. I just look, I mean, what can I say? I mean, Nick, the album I, itself. Man. We're the only the ones album that, itself, that make any sense. The album oh, itself man. is a way. I don't think anybody would say that big generator is a better album than talk. Right. I would. Yeah? Uh, fair mm-hmm. comment. Absolutely. Okay. Nope. Nope. okay. Well, I think Endless... Wait, wait. It's not Endless better than Big Dream Generator. I is agree. fantastic. Endless Dream is one of the 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 epics. It's it's really worthy. Um, I, I think some of the other tracks are... They're, you know, they're kind of good Trevor Rabin tracks. Um, okay. Uh, whilst it slightly galls me to put it in B, I'm going to put it in B so I can put You're Big Generator it. down to C. Bump so B tier and bump bump big generator Jeffrey, it wouldn't be my first well, bump at least talk is in b at least talk Jeffrey, is in it's b. over I'll between us that. But big <laughs> generator in c is blasphemy <laughs> this Sorry, is horrendous I, I agree jeff it's one you of your worst right. placements no 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 this is, uh, if you see my atrocity. actual personal chart there's way worse placements than that <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay um <laughs> victor do you hear a grasshopper chirping? I feel like I hear a grasshopper yeah, chirping. Yeah, who's got uh, grasshoppers? Here we go. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, that... Oh, go, 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 go. Bam! All right. Anderson <laughs> Brew from Whitman Howe. Well, it's not a yes album, is it? Oh. Sure it is. You know what to do. Uh, or is it? If you, if you look at their website, it is. Yeah. Yesworld.com has it listed as... Yeah, I have an official that- poster, and it lists that as one of the albums. Well, that's also the very reason why they got sued, uh. because all the promoters were saying ABWH of yes when they were touring, and so that's why they got sued. So I don't know about the official website, Jeffrey. It does. Maybe the legal history. Uh. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Uh- Anderson... 
Anderson Brew for Waker and How. I got this, I got into this uh, a lot later than when it came out, and it was neat to sort of hear what was going to come out. I think it's a, I think it, when you compare this to the Yes discography, I think it's better than the stuff that we have in, in the D tier. Uh, I think it's significantly better than the stuff that we have in D tier. I don't think it's anywhere close to being an S. Um, it's got some good music. Um, I, but, huh. I think I'm going to put it in the B tier. Okay. Who are we bumping? I'm going to put it in the B tier. So what are you bumping? <laughs> the question is, oh, am I bumping oh, up oh. or down, down? Down, down, Up. There's nothing to bump up. <laughs> There's nothing to bump up. <laughs> relay, what are you talking about? No, Relayer's, relayer's not up yet. <laughs> relayer, dude. Wait, re oh, no, rela Relayer? Oh, yeah, Relayer's not up relayer. there yet. Oh, uh, what's on the left-hand side? My eyes are old. Uh, union. Uh, that's onion. <laughs> yeah, that's onion. onion. That's union. Union. Yeah, I was gonna say there's. Let, you can you can change the onion. Um, I don't know. No. Oh, put it, it, You could put it. It's a, you could put it in C just fine. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna do something that uh, I'm gonna do something is gonna rile up this group, but I this is how strongly I feel about an album on there. Uh, so. A B W H. It's okay. gonna go in B tier. Okay. Let's and see. What are you get doing? ready for the earthquake because I am moving. I am moving. Talk. Whoa. Vic, I love you. I, don't know if I love you, Vic. Um, I love you, okay. Vic. So really quick, really quick. <laughs> talk to me in listening to the whole discography <laughs> and everything else. When I got into that, it took the biggest jump for me up. And for me, it made the top ten. So, I I I have I have the deed is done. <laughs> you bump an album? To, can you bump it from from S to D? No. no. Yeah, we you we, we can. We want there. Yeah, yeah, you can go. Okay. No, no, yeah, we yeah, bump you can one bump one it anywhere. Down. One. That's one what level. I thought. One level up or one level down, right? Oh, one le one up yeah, or yeah. down? Oh, okay. I think that's what we, okay. that's what we decided. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, oh, we, we got more to go. Problems. We got a lot of lot of other albums. Um, so, yeah, listen, so that's cool, man. I would have been with, with uh, that one in C, to be honest, but I love what you did. So, yeah, I can live with that. Um, to me, A, yeah, uh, yeah. A B, uh, W, H is, is half good. I like the first half, and then it's sort of – there's a few weaker tracks. Um, Brother of Mine is still really good. I kind of think when that's I a look, lot. Um, when I look at C, um, I think this album is better than all the ones that are in enough. C. Um, for me, I think it's significantly better to be in a higher no, I tier. But I will say, if they had B. to replace uh, Chris Squire with anybody, Tony Levin is the best person to replace yeah. him with. But Tony Levin is brilliant in the album. I think yeah. they all get their chance to shine on it. A lot of people talk about how the Bruford drums sound now, but at the time they sounded fine to me. And just even having him back on an album, you know, yeah. nearly twenty years later, uh, brilliant. You know. You know what's interesting though, really. We have, if you look at the wheel, there's arguably four albums that are considered maybe We're the have top a problem four. With talk being that, so, man. There's, there's this five. Is there's this five. Is really going to be. Let's, let's be real. There's <laughs> five. Talk won't be there for long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably right. Let's see. Well, I'm glad I'm next here. Spin that wheel and get. Oh, come there on. There we go. Yeah. Right. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> so close. Okay, that's all come right, on, man. Go. We got All relayer, right. relayer. And, I, and I think everybody relayer. on That's an this panel one probably has a very similar opinion about just how great this record is. You know, is it is it better than uh, anything on A? Oh yeah, it is. Obviously, this is an S tier record. You can argue if it's Yes's best album or not. Some days I think it is. When I listen to To Be Over and I'm moved to tears by the interplay between Patrick Mraz and Steve Howe, <laughs> or I listen to that battle section during Gates of Delirium and just lose my mind like I was 15 years old all over again. Yeah, this is an S tier. Load it up, locked and loaded. There's no need for debate. <laughs> I don't know. I have, a, I have a little bit of a debate. Just a, just a small caveat. I, I know you do. I love... <laughs> I love the first side. I love the first side. Soon makes me weep. I love the whole battle section. Uh, the second side is just a little too... I don't know. I never... I felt like it was close to the edge part two for the second side, and it didn't 
quite sound yeah, like i love sound, sound chaser, chaser but i don't know it not as much as not as much as the rest of the album so i for me this is more of like an a but... i'm with you it's 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 low s a for me but yeah. uh, depending on what else is in s it's it can fit we'll see how it shakes out we'll but... see what else he has. yeah it, it's like Chikoria, Mahavishnu Orchestra, they, these guys, it just took Yes and took it in that direction. Yeah. That yeah. is just and by the so way, cool. it's one of my favorite album covers, it's, it's too. It's such a unique yeah. album in yeah. their discography. The and I, think it's not and not. I, I think that's what Notes was saying. I, I mean, it, it is it is improvisational in the second side. Yeah. And, so, see, you know, maybe, maybe it's bottom yeah. of S yeah. it's, somewhere on the yeah. bottom of this. Yeah. All right, Nick, what are you getting? Here it comes, here it comes. There we go. There we go. All right. Yes, please. Nick, there you go, man. Yeah. Oh, yes, come on. Please. There you All go, right. Nick. Close to the edge. Everybody. Everybody. King of the hill, bud. Uh, the worst album ever recorded in the history of music. <laughs> Close to the edge. <laughs> oh, oh, go on. Oh, go on. Straight D tier. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> are we full on the S tier, Roy? We no. are not. No, we have one more. We have one more. Okay, so I don't no. have to bump anything. I'm I good. think this is going there. We'll put it right in the front. All right. I don't think anybody would disagree. It's perfection from beginning to end. It yep. is the ultimate progressive rock album. Yep. Uh, just three songs, Close to the Edge, and You and I, Siberian Kartru. It's dense. It's brilliant. Um, it's individual genius performances songwriting of the most incredible high order um and it's just unreal to me as a drummer thinking that bill bruford was unfulfilled while he was recording this album i, d yeah. I just don't get that I, I i can't understand that level of genius but there it, there it is he was unfulfilled he, he felt there were other things he could do with king crimson and so he left straight afterwards um, we got to mention Eddie Offord, who was kind of like the sixth member of, of, of this genius work. Uh, possibly the greatest music album of all time. Certainly the peak of what progressive rock could do in the early 70s. Uh, there's not a poor note in it. It's utterly br brilliant from beginning to end. And I'm really not exaggerating this time. Yep. It's okay. perfect. No, you're right. I think you said it all for all of us and we're, we're yep. good, right? Everybody's good? Yep. Yep. Um, cool. Um, I'm trying to see what if what i get out of these out. and what i'm gonna do i was gonna say shout out shout out to the stephen wilson stephen oh, yeah. wilson remix of that okay. album is pretty cool too man come on what a bummer it's ready to get all interesting right. all right yes self-titled first album um yeah i mean i don't know i I've, i'm not a fan of this record it's just maybe it's sort of the the time of it and the sound of it and the fact that it doesn't have any of the more famous songs and Steve Howe's not on it and all that stuff. I'm sure it's a fine record if I listen to it more. I just don't ever feel like listening to it. I actually have the original vinyl because my dad passed it down. Um, but um, I don't see any other place with what's left other than to put it in D just because. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can't put I any I'm, of. I, I'm not putting the other three albums in D, and I yeah, ugh. I just don't know where else it goes. So anyway. I, my, I think it's a better album than Time and mm -hmm. a Word, but obviously I wouldn't put it in the A. I mean, I, I think, yeah. you know, as a defining album of its time, I think it kind of deserves better than D. Um, but um, I think Peter Banks' contribution to it is way way above what uh what he does in time in a word um but hey gotta go somewhere yeah yeah exactly. i would i yeah. would listen to this over the other three albums it, in d for sure that's fine i don't know if yeah. i would put it in c absolutely yeah absolutely okay well i, I like get a good I like one how, coming up now I like all right how come the on album one in three chance that, one in three you, go, you got it you got it you got really it cool <laughs> oh i'm so happy you got it wait 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 yeah, right. Right. I'm so happy. Magnification. Uh, I Magnification. I have, I have stuff to say Mag about this album too. All right, but where are you putting it? Magnification. Okay, I'm going to ruffle feathers. 
Oh, I no. know I'm going to ruffle feathers because for me, Magnification is one of the best Yes albums they've ever made. They had an orchestra to help fill out the keyboard section. It has some of the best Yes tracks I know of. And I know I've said that countlessly, but I have a wedding in about a year uh, for myself. My fiance and I are getting married and we are going to be dancing with um, Give Love Each Day because it is just perfection. Uh, Don't Go is way too much fun in the presence of is a great like epic uh, dream time has one of the best like buildups and payoffs and that title track of magnification just ah so I know I'm going to ruffle some feathers but for me this is an S tier album. Oh um, wow. wow. Come on. Yeah, it's an S tier. Nikes. That's wow. it is. It is. We have our craziest was... moment of the podcast. Wow. I and so this was why this was why that's I was it, folks. <laughs> But I'm not going to put it in S tier because I'm not Whoa. going to ruffle too many feathers. I am going to put it in A. But okay. for me personally, it's an S album. But I also know that I'm taking everybody else's votes into consideration. Personally, it's an S. I will put it into A. Okay. I but mean, it's got no keyboard. It's a, it's a good. That's fine. It's actually a really good album. I listened to it again recently and and really, really enjoyed it. I think it's way better than Key Studio for me. Um, A lot of great moments on here. I love the orchestration. I really, really like it. Um, To me, it's a B at best. Um, But thank you, at least you didn't put it in in S. Well, see, here's what I was going to do. Here's what I was going to do, and I'm still tempted to do it, is put it into S and move 90125 down to A. That's what I want to do. No, I really want to do that. A is fantastic. (laughs) Great job. (laughs) But uh, uh, that's uh, yeah. Well, they had to hire Tom Brislin to tour it, right? So just say, just say. Well, no people there. No, yes. On big on big generator, they had that. They had to have a guy on the stage. Playing the keyboards. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah, they did. True um, Jeff, sure. where would you put? Where would you have put magnification? Where is this for you? I, I would have had it as a B. Um, yeah. If it, if I'd got that one, I would have bumped down time and a word, and I would have put it in B. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I, look, I like and I agree with what virtually all of what 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 notes said. Um, and again, the tour of that album was amazing sitting in a concert hall listening to close to the edge with an orchestra and and in the presence of i agree with you it it stood up you know against the epic material in that set um and i I, look i agree there's a lot of really really good moments on it i you know I, i guess to the keyboard point would haven't had rick on it i've made it better i don't know it you could have ended up with tornado you know so i think i think what they did was 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 really good can i just point out the craziness of a i mean honestly <laughs> the latter <laughs> talk yeah. and magnification is like Prah. okay yep. uh all right jeff let's see jeff and vic we find out what there you guys get now this will be there we go I also didn't put it in S because I knew it was going to be bumped and there's an album in S <laughs> I want to be bumped. Exactly. You got to play the strategy. Exactly. I got to play, right, so, uh, play the game. Tails. Tails. Uh, all right. I, at this point, I'm really glad that Scott doesn't know where I live. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Because, <laughs> because I know what... I was on board. <laughs> Uh, okay, my Tails. Hand. Let me let me talk about Tails. Tails has some great moments, um, and then it's got side two and side three. Um, <laughs> love, side two. <laughs> love side two. <laughs> um, I really, you know, I've been a Yes fan a long time. I have tried. I've really tried hard. I promise you, people. But I, I think the revealing, fantastic ritual, absolute epicness. I just struggle with what's in between. And I'm not one of these people who says, you know, oh, if only they'd edited it down. I, I get it. It is what it is. It's, I mean, it's a great achievement, but it's not an album I love to listen to. Mm. 
Um, hmm. and where does it go? I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I know what he's and, and I, I know what he's gonna do too. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna use it as a bit of a tool, really. Um, and to to be fair, I mean it. When I look at when I look at the A tier, there are definitely albums in there that. I think aren't as good as Tales. But when I look at the C tier, there's albums that definitely shouldn't be in there for me. So, um, I'm going to go, okay. I'm going to go B. Wow. And I'm okay. going to move down t- and I'm going to move down time and award. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Really don't I know you're breaking Scott's work. heart. And, but... yeah. <laughs> and, the, and, and, and the reason, can I say one thing? If there had been one more album in A tier, I would have put it in there and moved down talk. Yeah. Well, yeah. Talk, I, talk block yeah. everything, man. Talk lives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. But um, I'll tell you what. All right. The dominoes are going to fall on this on this round. The only problem is it's Vic in charge and he's the one who put it in A. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. true. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I wonder Any- what it's going to be. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> I to, I mean this is right, arguably I'll, I'll, one of their better albums uh, the, also left for last. Yeah, I mean this has maybe more hits on it than than any other one. So, Vic, let's uh what are you doing? Ah. Uh, well, just to say specifically about this album to hear Starship Troopers on Progressive Nation at sea to close out the cruise ship was just a, a a great moment um i i forgot so i think roy was the one that that said that this was the equivalent to hey jude in mm, prague I think that's like Starship jeff. troopers but jeff said that uh great album steve was it jeff um you know steve howe joins the band officially and not just on the cover and uh they pretty much set sail towards fragile and cruise to the edge so the album is going in oh, right. bumping. Um, uh yeah, you did. I said, I said cruise meant. to the edge, close. To the end. But anyway, all right. So, so it's going, it's mm. going in. What are you bumping down? S. Huh. One, two, five. I mean, drama. I would bump down, but you put drama yeah. in S. So I don't uh, know. Five. Yeah, he put it there in the first no, place. Five, so you know. No, no, no. It, it, it's so okay. So, uh, fragile, close to the edge. Relay. I think this is perfect. If you uh... <laughs> yes album, I'm I yeah I'm bumping down nine oh one two. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh. He did the right thing. He did you're the right thing. Man. Eng- you're an Just audio ridiculous. engineer. How can you? How, you're the Just audio ridiculous. guy. How can you move nine? One of the best produced albums ever to A tier. <laughs> well, well, okay. Well, it, it's Vic it, started listening to Yes last month, and he put two albums in S tier. <laughs> album. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Good. No, Victor <laughs> started listening to Yes last month. Right. Not, not the albums, not the albums that are in that are in A is tier, bananas. Sir. I'm, I mean, love A is much, just um, insane. I, I love you, man. I love you. You know, I love you, man. But. I... <laughs> This really, dude? <laughs> uh, Come on! I agree. no, no. He made the right choice. He made the right choice. So, so, so okay. So, so you guys, you guys think drama should have come down <laughs> to stay and, and nine zero two one five stay up there? Well, Everybody has a different album they want down. <laughs> so, would have, I personally would have moved relay, relay. Well, know. listen, this is where we are. So, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, look for me. S tier uh, was the those and replacing drama with nine hundred one two five. That's what S tier would be for me. But oh, okay. You know, A tier is wild. Hey, let's. So hey, let's. Do, uh, it let's let's have some fun. It, and, it <laughs> me. Them in order. No, the th- the things I reflect in this one comment to the band. Um, first of all, yes, 
if you ever make an album again, never put the full yes name on the full of the cover because if you see what happens to those albums, they pretty much fall to the bottom <laughs> row. And, exactly. And, and if I had my way, talk would be down there as well. So avoid the big, big letters. <laughs> the, cover. Um, the second thing I would say is uh, to to uh, to quote Nick, uh, you know, Philistines that we have going for the one in the in the in the A row. <laughs> Uh, so that too. I, 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 and and nine one two five in the A row. This has gone all of sorts it, of crazy. Yeah. The rest of it, we, the rest of it, we can argue. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I going mean, for the I one has parallel would be. It, so. Most people would um, would say that C and D, I think, are okay. The majority, I think, would probably be all right with how those laid out. Pretty um, much. B, B is and a, a are very mixed, you know. Also, I think yeah. that's where things get a little little nuts. I mean, S is. See, S I is like solid. A. You can't argue with you're, those. You're thinking A's a little I'm wonky, just... Roy. I like A, except for Talk. I, I would have put. Oh, probably... I like a lot of the album. No, I I like all the albums in A actually, but I it's just not what I would have thought it would end up at all. Like, <laughs> I mean, well, for me, if all. if you were to swap Talk and Big Generator, I'd be happy right. with with A. No, I think that they're. Oh wow! Okay. Well. Yeah, I mean, I probably would switch ladder <laughs> and tails, uh, in A. Mm. I think. Yeah. Um, mm. But either way, so you want to you want to organize these, these in rows? So how are we looking for how are we looking for S? Yeah, I mean, organize. I feel it. like, uh, you know, drama last. Put put drama put drama fifth and then because, and then relay or put it fourth. Is, <laughs> I think I like that. Last. I, fragile last. Uh, won't you touch my? No, I, I like I like how it is right no now. Way. I like how it no is way. right. I like it's, this. That's good. And then yeah. uh, maybe, maybe swap Rila and the and the S album. Maybe. Gosh, going for the one no, right. first. Magnification needs to be first. What? No. Magnification needs to be first. I don't know. We'll Roy, you're doing it wrong, guys. Roy. It's got to be first. <laughs> there. That work for everybody on A. I feel like that's great. Yeah. No. As as five <laughs> albums, that would be how I would rank them. I'd maybe switch the first two, but yeah. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, okay, middle. Who wants to do the middle? Scott, oh, tails is definitely. Come on, yeah. you you know what's got to be first in the B row. There tails you go. Tails has to be That's first. Right. Yeah, I'd throw Tormato in there. And, and then and then it's okay. close. Actually, uh, the, the the next three. Are I would put in. Anderson, yeah. Wakeman, Buford, and Howe next. Yeah. Okay, and I, yeah. I, me personally, Union would be last, but I know a lot of you people seem to like Union a whole bunch. <laughs> Union's better than well, Mirror. You no, it's not. There. Come on, Roy. It feels you know be better. Than that. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I would listen to the, the Union. Roy, t- oh. Tails number it, one. Tails Roy, oh, Tails needs to be yeah, number one. Tails. There we go, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, bottom right, row. That works. I honestly, I like how it is. Yeah. Fly from here, that away. That away. Worse? No. no. Yeah. He yeah. wants to demote just leave, life just from here. Him. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> do, do me so, the favor so, of putting Big Generator he first right. in C tier. Come on, boys. No. For, for put, Nick. Put, for Nick. Put Big Generator. I, I'm with you, Nick. We'll do that one. And then, wait, no, we got to do this. There we I go. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Yep, that looks yeah, right. I'm okay with that. All right, there we go. We did That's it. Right. That's right. This is. is pretty good. It went well. I mean, it's great. It's wow. like, you know, it, it did what the wheel does. Yep. The um, injustice uh, of it all. The, the, <laughs> it's so that, frustrating. That, isn't any it? universe talk is ahead of tails. <laughs> the wheel, the wheel is so uncommon, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm totally I have with been, you on that. I'm, totally I'm with you on that, that as well. It's so funny, uh, yeah. man. So, I have been I have been avoiding watching the podcast because I know that Notes has a ranking for these albums, and I know that Pro Corner has one. So I am now there you go. going to yeah, watch them just to, to watch. enjoy. I didn't want to bias myself with anything that yeah. was there. I I did so, a little researching on so, yeah, on articles uh, look, and, and just to see what sort of people think. But it's really this is a band that is no two lists are remotely yeah. close by all over the map. You know, it really is. Yeah, yeah. But, so, you except, know, the fun thing about the wheel of pride, heaven right? and earth, heaven and earth, and open your eyes were always on the. They bottom. seem to. Always they seem to have pretty much. Always. Yeah. <laughs> but if quiz. we did this a hundred times, you would get a hundred different results. You know, yeah. just yes, based because on it's the, totally yeah, how it spins and who yeah. and yeah, yeah. That's it's why this cra- is so it's awesome. Fun. It's crazy. 
Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Scott Notes, thank you for being here, man. It's awesome to have you both on here. A lot Thanks of fun. Check us. their pages out. Notes reviews on YouTube and Proud Corner on YouTube. Are you still writing for Fire Note or, or you're just I, I, I do occasionally. I'm technically still a, a staff writer for the Fire Note, but uh, I don't, 99.9% you know, .9 of my time is on the Proud Corner. So, so, so wait. Do, do we get bumped up in your ranking of YouTube channels? Now? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sorry about that. That was that was hard. Yeah, I, I regret. As long it, as they don't know. beat mine, I, I had to do it. I had to do it. As long as as long don't, as they don't go above mine, we're all good. Right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so 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 there's a wild card. Right? There's a wild card for YouTube rankings. Yeah, we should do a wheel. Of, we should do a wheel of frog of uh, wheel of YouTube you channels. I like that. wheel of YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good <laughs> idea. No, I, it's just all right. Yeah, well, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, uh, cool. Hey guys, uh, thanks to everybody, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out the other wheel of Prague episodes. The Opeth one has gone bananas. If you haven't seen that one, it's like. 70,000 views or something stupid now. Yeah. And uh, and uh, we got a Dream Theater one, Rush, Porcupine Tree, Neil and Mike one that we did. And uh, wow. uh, a bunch of new interviews and stuff up. We're also on the audio podcast, parkabart.com and all our socials and all that stuff. And we'll see everybody again real soon. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us wherever you get your podcasts. Check us out on all our socials and on progreport.com for all your news, interviews, reviews, and more. And we'll see you again real soon.